the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Also with you. I'd like to begin this, because the First Communion Day is a day of great rejoicing in every parish, and I'd like to welcome all those, especially who are visiting, and have come along to rejoice with us because they're related to the children or because they're just visiting. Uh, very pleased to see them here. Uh, join with us in praising God for giving us these children and also that they are to receive our blessed Lord today for the very first time. Now we're going straight into the Gloria of the Mass. Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Stranger who lives with you. 
Thus your servant, man or woman, shall rest as you do. Remember that you were a servant in the land of Egypt, and that the Lord your God brought you out from there with mighty hand and outstretched arm. Because of this, the Lord your God has commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. This is the word of the Lord. <laughs> the response, ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring, ring out, out your joy to God our strength. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. Ring out your joy to God our strength. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. Ring out your joy to God our strength. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Let there be no foreign God among you, no worship of an alien God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Ring out your joy to God our strength. The second reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. It is the same God that said, Let there be light shining out of darkness who has shone in our minds to radiate the light of the knowledge of God's glory, the glory on the face of Christ. We are only the earthenware jars that hold this treasure, to make it clear that such an overwhelming power comes from God and not from us. We are in difficulties on all sides, but never cornered. We see no answer to our problems, but never despair. We have been persecuted, but never deserted, knocked down, but never killed. Always, wherever we may be, we carry with us in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus, too, may always be seen in our body. Indeed, while we are still alive, we are consigned to our death every day. For the sake of Jesus, so that in our mortal flesh, the life of Jesus, too, may be openly shown. This is the word of the Lord. Set out and went to the city 
and found everything as he had told them, and prepared the Passover. And as they were eating, he took some bread, and when he had said the blessing, he broke it and gave it to them. Take it, he said, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had returned thanks, he gave it to them, and all drank from it. And he said to them, this is my blood, the blood of the covenant, which is to be poured out for many. I tell you solemnly, I shall not drink any more wine until the day I drink the new wine in the kingdom of God. After psalms had been sung, they left for the Mount of Olives. <coughs> this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Now we make our confession of faith. We believe
Our children have prepared for this joyous day. Now we pray with them to our Father as they prepare to receive Jesus, his Son. Blessed David's prayers. Hail Mary. Kind and gentle Father, receive our prayers as you welcome our children to your altar, where they will receive the body and blood of your dear Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Acclamation, we have one or two acclamations during the Eucharistic prayer. 
and to be glory to God in the highest. God our Father, we remember with joy all that Jesus did to save us in this holy sacrifice which he gave as a gift to his church. We remember his death and resurrection. Father in heaven, accept us together with your beloved Son. He willingly died for us, but you raised him to life again. We thank you and say, Glory to God in the highest. Jesus now lives with you in glory, but he is also here on earth among us. We thank you and say, Glory to God in the highest. One day he will come in glory, and in his kingdom there will be no more suffering, no more tears, no more sadness. We thank you and say, Glory to God in the highest. Father in heaven, you have called us to receive the body and blood of Christ at this table and to be filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit. Through this sacred meal, give us strength to please you more and more. Lord our God, remember John Paul our Pope, Keith Patrick our Apostolic Administrator, and all other bishops. Help all who follow Jesus to work for peace and to bring happiness to others. Bring us all at last, together with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, to live with you and be one with Christ in heaven. No. <coughs> Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever
takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper.
but we'll proceed now to the presentation. <coughs> Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you give us your body and blood in the Eucharist as a sign that even now we share your life. May we come to possess it completely in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. First Communion Day is a great event in every parish and we are having other events today to make it more memorable. Everybody's welcome to these events. There's, first of all, there'll be a, a party upstairs in the club rooms and uh, then later on in the afternoon, I think about you know, half past two or three, we'll, we'll be gathering together in Tolster for a barbecue, parish barbecue, so everybody's very welcome. If anyone's hard up for transport, do that. Um, if you make that known, I'm sure somebody will be able to take you there and back. Now, there are one or two other announcements. There's a special appeal for the missions next Sunday. You'll see the adverts up in the church entrance there. The Severian Fathers, uh, a branch of the Severian Fathers anyway, are giving this. And uh, it's a special appeal, so come put the arm to that. Um, He'll be talking to you at all the masses. Now, there's a special mass also on Monday week, not tomorrow, not tomorrow Monday coming, but Monday week, for the 1,400th year of the death of St. Columba. His feast day occurs on that day, and the mission father has very kindly offered to stay on for it, that he wanted to. So that'll give us a bit of extra celebration. So I'm grateful for all those who could attend that, especially be grateful for those who can sing Gaelic, um, so that we can uh, have a rousing chorus of the hymn to St. Columba. I don't think we've got one in English. Uh, the final announcement is that there'll be no Mass in the church here on Tuesday. I should be away on that day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lovely to see you all. Enjoy your day. Thank you.
Sapphire June, Sapphire. It's June's at Yarmouth, but. Kemsby. No, well, north of Denmark. Oh, yeah. Then we had the, the great yeah. event, the barbecue at Tulsa, which everybody enjoyed very much.